Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you my September favorites. I can't believe that Halloween's coming up soon. I don't even know who I want to be this year. <laughs> yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started. I don't have too much. I think I say that like all the time though. Oh, whoops. Yeah, so, all right. So my first favorite of the month is the Mimi Box. Well, the Yandu Kanbai Mimi Box Shading Stick. This I have reviewed before with swatches and everything like that. And it's been a very long time since I've used it. And I recently just decided to go back to this. And I really, really like it. I really love it. It's, um, whenever I use some foundations that are a bit too light for me and I need to contour or bronze up, I use this because this is literally the same color as my natural contours. So along my hairline, where it's darker naturally, this is pretty much that color. So this is a very natural contour for me. And it, I can't, I feel like it might be like neutral. I can't quite tell like if it's more warm. It's not necessarily like super, super warm. And it's not like cool either so I feel like it might be neutral but this has just like done really well for me so that's definitely one of my favorites one of my next favorites is the house of dolls lipstick and she and okay like it looks terrible I don't know why like maybe it melted a little bit who knows but it is a really pretty lipstick. I think it's pretty much like the same color as Matte Innocent by Milani Cosmetics. Um, but I kind of just, I didn't toss the lipstick yet, but it's kind of in my like trash pile because it doesn't go on very well. Like compared to all the other matte lipsticks in Milani's matte line, like that one just feels like silicone and it does not look good at all. I don't know if I got a bad one, maybe I got a bad one. I've considered like buying another one to see if it's different. Um, but I feel like this is pretty much about the same color. It makes me look really pasty, but <laughs> with a darker lip liner, like it looks really good. So that's that. And speaking of a darker lip liner, one of my other favorites is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in nude which is what I wear with the House of Dolls lipstick and it's just a really pretty nude color so my next three favorites are brushes actually so these I purchased all of these when I was in Japan but this one you can get here and you can probably get these two using like mail forwarding services so this one is the Chikuhoro GSN 05 brush this is targeted for this is targeted for a liquid foundation application. I've used it with liquid foundation before and I was not, it may be the foundation itself because I was trying out a new one, but I was not particularly impressed. But the reason why it's one of my favorites this month is because I love using it with the shading stick and it blends it out very, very well. And it kind of has a more pronounced tip right here. And so I can really get in here in the contour area and blend it out as I like. So that's pretty much one of the reasons why this is one of my favorites this month. Next up is this Kumano Fude blush brush. And I got these two came in a set with a lip brush. So they don't necessarily have like their own name. But this is the blush brush and it's so, so, so super soft and it applies blush perfectly. I used it today. This blush is just, it applies everything so evenly and I really love it. And then this one is the eyeshadow brush that came in the set. This one is really, really nice and fluffy and I, a lot of times, I've just been using this as, I've been using it for transition shade, for my, for like the deeper shades that go into the crease and then I use it a little bit above and it just does such a good job at applying as well as blending out and so like pretty much this is why I want, this is one of my favorites this month and it's so it's just so soft like it's so nice and fluffy okay so now we're gonna move on to like body care not body care but like non makeup items so this one is the supergroup mint fusion lip balm with shea butter it has SPF 30 
it is so 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 super moisturizing and hydrating to the lips i apply it like once a day and i'm set for like the whole day and pretty much along with like the spf in it like it's a pretty good product if you ask me and i i just really like it and it's I don't know. If you don't like mint though, then you might not like it as much. But Okay, my next one is the Great Barrier Island Bee Company Manuka Honey Intensive Hand and Nail Cream. This is it says made in New Zealand. I think I probably got this from I probably got this from Birchbox a while back and I never really touched it until recently. So, since so recently I started um, working, I'm a waitress or I'm a server and so I'm always constantly, constantly washing my hands and then we also bust our own tables, we clean them up and so then like I'm always like squeezing um, like a rag, you know, to clean the tables and stuff and then it's really abrasive on my hands. So my hands have been like not soft or anything like that and this has been like such a lifesaver. I really like this. It smells so good if you like the smell of honey then this smells pretty much exactly like honey it's such a good hand cream and i definitely recommend it okay so my next favorite is a hair item i never talk about hair stuff like never so anyways this is the batiste dry shampoo and the bright and lively floral essences smell i guess so pretty much as as, okay, as far as like the dry shampoo-ness goes, I don't really like it because I think it disperses too much powder, but I really love the scent. Like I love the scent so much that I'm, I'll, I'm willing to just like set aside how much powder it dispenses because it makes my hair like really powdery and then whenever I, I brush through it, I have a black brush and I can see the powder on the brush from my hair but I really love this for the scent it is such a really pretty scent and it's really inexpensive the reason why I've been using this is because after work my hair smells like work and I don't like it smells like it just smells like work my hair just smells like work and you know when you work in a restaurant and your hair smells like it it's just like no so I spray this after I shower before I go to bed so that way like I don't have to smell like those things in my hair yeah so that's why this is one of my favorites and then my last two things are skincare items first up is the Sunday Riley ceramic slip clay cleanser which looks like this I am almost done with it I've had it for a few months now and I'm finally getting back around to it because I quit using it for a while and it's just really good like i don't know it cleans my skin very well but it doesn't strip it too much of its natural like oils and moisture that it needs and i feel like it does a good job with like my acne and my pores and stuff like that so i definitely recommend this and it has this really good smell to it it might just be me i really like musk i like earthy smells so this pretty much like you can kind of smell like the clay in it <laughs> yeah but it's a really good cleanser and I definitely recommend it and then this last item is the Sum or Sumu 37 white award bubble deep mask this I used this in my unwind with me video so you can see it work and what I like to do is I like to use this first whenever I mask and then I will use another mask afterwards like I use this to kind of detox and bring things out and then like if I if I need it if I need more detoxing and more like drawing things out then I'll use the clay mask next if not then I'll use like a really moisturizing mask like uh, I have like some honey mask and stuff like that that I'll use but I really like this because it's it's just something different and it works really well I like it yeah and then, actually I lied, those aren't my last two items so my last two favorites for this month okay so my last two favorites for this month would be these lashes these are the Coco Lashes in Goddess which I really like begun to I, I really like them in general because they're so easy to use they're really pretty they go well with like any look kind of like the House of, House of Lashes iconic I feel like they're similar but like different 
I think these look a bit more feathery, whereas the iconic ones are definitely more dramatic and stark. And then my last favorite would be the contacts. These are the Desio Eyes Icy Blue contacts. And I think um, they recently just got their website back up. So you can definitely go purchase them now. I'm gonna zoom out. <laughs> So yeah, so that's all for my favorites this month. I hope that you all enjoy this video and I hope that you can all share with me your favorites for this month or what you think of these favorites this month. Yeah, things like that. Oh, and also this necklace, I've been loving, oops. And I've also been loving this necklace. I really like triangles. Um, <laughs> and it's just a really great necklace. This is reversible, so this is um, a black leather back side and then the other side has like sheets and stuff like that. It's geometric with some rhinestones and stuff. This is by House of Harlow and it's just a really pretty necklace. Like I really love it. I also have one of the sunburst ones and I thought it'd be nice to layer them but I noticed that the golds are different colors. So I think this one is more like an 18 karat gold type of color and then the other one's 14 maybe because it's not as like yellow yeah so yeah so that's it for my September favorites yeah please give this a thumbs up if you found this helpful or entertaining and subscribe if you haven't already I'll see you next time bye